Hello, my sunshiny souls. How are you? Welcome back. Welcome back, subscribers. Welcome if you are new. I am Carly, and today's reading is for Libra. Libra, sun, moon, rising, any strong placement of Libra in your chart for July 1st through the 15th, 2024. I still can't believe we are halfway through this year. It's just a craziness. Uh, but let's get you an overall energy. I know the messages have been really powerful for you guys in your last few readings. So um, let's see what July has for you. Also, link down below. I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. And there's also a 15% discount uh, for you as well. All right, Libra. There it is. All right. <laughs> I love this for you, Libras. You've got the koala spirit. Uh, spirit has a plan. And I'm also just really noticing this little koala's third eye is very much being highlighted here. So with the koala spirit, spirit has a plan. Libras, this is a reminder. I know how much you love to think and analyze and process things, but this is a reminder that spirit has a plan. So you may be thinking and processing and calculating your next move and your life path and and all of that and there's nothing wrong with that but just remember sometimes spirit might step in and move you on a different path or move you a different way or maybe you've been trying to make something happen and things just aren't lining up for you like they normally do spirit has a plan for you so that plan may be different than the plan that you have for yourself and this can be a little bit challenging because you kind of have to let go and really trust if um, if all the signs are there, something's not lining up or something's not moving or something's not feeling right. That is spirit um, guiding you, protecting you, um, blocking something from happening that maybe is not meant for you. So I'm just seeing this is actually a really powerful message for you. Spirit has a plan and it's a reminder for you that you may not know the direction that you're going in. It may be very different than uh, your highest path or what is really best for you. So I'm hearing strongly Libras this month of July, not just the first two weeks, be really open to your intuitive messages. Listen to your body, okay? Um, the body is gonna have a lot of messages for you of what is a yes and what is a no. Okay, and it just, I'm getting this picture of this cute little koala like in a tree, you know, koalas move quite slow and they're very um, gentle with, with their bodies and the way that they move. So uh, this can be a message for you, move a bit slower in July, you know, be more aware, consciously aware of your body and your movements because I'm hearing that there's some message for you here, there's some sort of a connection there for you. Um, where those messages and answers are going to come in maybe in unexpected ways and again that's going to be spirit coming through for you so I love it I think July is going to be quite a spiritual month um, let's get your other cards out here Libra 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 All right, second row, please, Libra. Three more cards. Woo. Wow, okay. First of all, you've got three major arcana cards, so those always bring growth and transformation. I'm gonna show you the first row, and then we'll, or row, and then we'll go through individually. Starting out with the Nine of Swords, followed by the Nine of Cups and the Moon card. So Libra is already when I was talking about, you know, the mind and analyzing and, and calculating, there is something that has been very heavy on your mind, okay, for I'm hearing a little while now. <clears throat> this can be something with work, with stress, with family, with a relationship, but it's something that you've been processing and analyzing and calculating and trying to figure out and it's driving you crazy and it's keeping you up at night. Um, this is about to burst, okay? This is about to lift. So whatever this has been for you, uh, there's gonna be a shift that is starting to happen because you can't really get anywhere when you're in this energy. So I'm seeing it's almost just 
keeping you in this loop and it's blocking you from seeing possibility and from seeing opportunity and from seeing something in a different way. This card very much is anxiety and stress in the mind and in the mental space, okay? So this is a general reading. This is going to be different. The, the reason uh, for this is going to be different for, for a lot of you, okay? But you are moving towards, I love this, you go from the Nine of Swords to the Nine of Cups. So when I say the bubble is going to burst or like something is going to lift here, you're going to be moving out of stress and anxiety and into a wish being fulfilled, okay? That may sound a little bit crazy to go from one from the other, but it's going to be significant. It's going to be quick. This awareness is going to come in. This realization is going to come in and it's, it's going to change for you, okay? Whatever this has been for you is going to change for you. And I'm seeing it's also going to be linked with your emotions. So Nine of Cups can be uh, just being happy, emotionally fulfilled. And it's also a, a wish fulfilled card. So you're moving like out of stress into, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And that is the power I feel of July. Things are going to happen quickly. This is why being connected with your body is going to be really important because your body is going to be speaking to you. Okay. Um, but whatever this happiness and wish coming through is, it's something linked with your deepest inner desires and wishes. For a lot of you, I'm hearing this has to do with a relationship, a partnership, um, a romantic connection, somebody who maybe you want to spend your life with and, and it just hasn't been coming together and hasn't been coming together and all of a sudden it might start coming together, okay? So you've got to let go of some of that anxiety and the fear around it not working out or around it not happening, okay? Because uh, you are moving into something is being lifted here where the fear and the anxiety, which is on the surface, is going to be lifted and what's underneath that is kind of the core of the moon card. It's your deepest inner desires and wishes. It opens up, look at the path here, opens up on this card. So a lot of beautiful energy. And then also too, the moon card does represent cancer. And we do have the new moon in cancer on July 5th. So very powerful new beginnings. I do think your deeper emotions may be stirred with this, but there's going to be an emotional lightness that is going to come to the surface, okay? So there may be a bit of a purge um, emotionally, and then I'm seeing the lightness is going to come in, okay? Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting, but also real quick, we do have strong Cancer energy, and then also Pisces and Scorpio, and then other air. So it could be another uh, Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarius. Second row, look at how powerful these cards are. You've got Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Six of Cups here. Major shakeup in some sort of a connection and a relationship. And I am not seeing that this shakeup is a negative, okay? Because the outcome is a beautiful coming together with a soulmate. So um, from the first row, you know, we're talking about letting go of the stress in your mind, allowing spirit to come in with their plan, with the plan for you. And then the next card is the Wheel of Fortune. Fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor, karmic cycles being wrapped up so you are freed from them. Uh, to me, I read this card as the clock of the universe. So something powerful is shifting for you Libras in July. Second card out here is the Tower card. You know, I, I don't always see the tower as this doom and gloom, horrible thing that happens. It is an aha moment, a realization, an epiphany, uh, something that is not meant for you can kind of just be taken out of the way so that you can stay on track. This can be spirit having a plan for you. The, the tower card is helpful. It is helpful. Can it feel difficult? Of course it can, because typically the tower card comes in when we're not listening to our inner guidance or we're not allowing spirit to show us the, the correct way. Um, so that may be a little bit difficult. And coming back to this nine of swords, Libras, you may have been, you know, thinking and hoping and wishing and wanting and stressing over something to happen a certain way. And it may happen a completely different way than you thought that it would. And I, I keep hearing love. I do feel a lot of you, this is a shakeup and a realization in regards to love or a specific person that you have been dealing with, okay? 
but let the tower fall, let the walls fall, let the um, limited thinking fall away, let the whatever it is fall away because what's on the other side of that is the deepest, most purest, beautiful soul love connection. Six of Cups is no joke. This is a soulmate card. It is a card of like a sweet, innocent, playful, childlike love where you just feel seen and heard and connected. And um, it's really beautiful. Also can represent somebody from your past, a reconnection. So if this is not somebody that you're currently dealing with, this can be somebody reconnecting with you. Uh, maybe you didn't expect them to reconnect with you and that kind of blows your mind a little bit. So whatever whatever it is, Libras, this is a general reading. So it's going to be different for each of you. If you want a more personalized reading, I do private readings. That's listed below. Um, but with this, it's positive. Whatever it is, it is positive because there's a shift in your mind there's a shift in your emotions, and then there's a shift, I'm seeing this can be a shift in like your outer reality, uh, which is really beautiful. And again, with the support of that Wheel of Fortune, you may have been stuck in kind of a, a karmic cycle or a karmic loop, and that's gonna be lifting. When that lifts, sometimes that can really shake up our paradigm, okay? But again, the outcome is the Six of Cups. So I'm just hearing Libras, let, let the month of July show you magic, okay? I am like just getting goosebumps as I'm saying that to you. And you've got to let go of control in that mental energy. If you need to meditate or focus on your breathing or do exercise, whatever that helps you calm that mind and get down into the body, it's going to help you move through whatever this is for you a lot easier, okay? But I see a deep heart connection. I see your deep inner wishes and desires being fulfilled here. Um, there's a heart connection. There's a soul connection. There's a reconnection with your trust in spirit and your relationship with spirit. Um, all of that is happening for you. So, wow. Very strong messages. So again, strong cancer energy, Pisces and Scorpio coming through. Uh, we also have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy, okay? Those are kind of the main, the main ones here. Okay, let's get you one more message and see what we've got. Okay, yes. So we talked about the paradigm shift. We talk about things shifting for you. That is healing, okay? So this healing card shows you that you are going to be shifting. Things are going to be changing for you in July, and it's going to bring deep healing. You are not going to be going through it alone. You look at this character. I, I kind of picture this as spirit, just kind of, you know, brushing your head or holding your hand or just reminding you that you're not alone uh, through whatever you are going through. And again, you are supported with the koala spirit as well. Spirit has a plan for you. So, I'm just seeing Libras, the more you can just let go of the reins in July, the more powerful and easy this is going to be whatever it is that you're moving through because it is big. You've got the moon card digging up those deep inner feelings. You've got the wheel of fortune filtering out karmic cycles and chapters. And then you've got the tower card kind of shaking away all the the rubbish that you don't need and opening you up to a beautiful, deep wish fulfillment in love and soulmate energy. Okay, beautiful. Um, let's get you a spirit animal message. Beautiful. You've got the raven shaman. You are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Oh my goodness. I love that. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries because that kind of connects back in with spirit has a plan for you. Um, things are going to be shifting, but you're being guided. Okay, I'm also noticing these totems back here. 
Uh, Libras, you may have your spirit animal kind of come in or be more present for you in the first half of July as well. Um, and that presence in your physical body, you are going to be more aware of those animals around you as well. Okay, so, so be mindful of that as well. If you, you know, are out walking or you just notice a specific animal that you have seen repeatedly or that you don't ever see and all of a sudden it's right in front of you, look that up. Look what's up the, the spiritual meaning of that specific animal, okay? Yes, connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. I love this for you, Libras. I think I'm going to end with that message. I hope this resonates for you. Those were some powerful messages coming through, Libra. So I'd love to read your comments below. Let me know what's going on with you. Um, thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments. They really do help the videos go further. So I appreciate you and I appreciate um, that. Also, I reply to every single comment. So if you want to connect with me down below, you can do that and I will get back to you. Um, otherwise, Libras, I'm wishing you just a beautiful start to July. Uh, real quick, if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. One of the biggest things that the energy clearing helps with Libras specifically is a quieting of that mind. It really helps to balance those upper chakras and your lower chakras, and that allows the mind to be more quiet, uh, more clarity for you. Your intuition will come through more clearly, uh, and you can move through situations like this, you know, in a in your most balanced way possible. So, um, there is a fifteen percent discount linked below. Otherwise, that's it for now, Libras. I'm sending you all my love and enjoy that new moon on the 5th in Cancer. And I'll see you guys back here for the second half of July readings. Take care.